OK, this is Virtual Fighter 2 on the Sega Mega Drive. So I'll go with Akira. This is the only character that I really know the moves to. So the game looks you know, very, very different than the arcade game and even the Saturn game. So this is not your Virtua Racing style SVP kind of game. It's, it's all 2D. And I remember this coming out on the, on the Saturn, on the Mega Drive rather, Maybe was it a year after the Saturn had been out, and I remember thinking, "Why this is just such a weird concept," and I didn't really, you know, bother with it much until till recently, and when I've got to play it on a, a real Mega Drive, and I'm quite impressed with it. It's it's kind of weird in the way it moves. It's not like Street Fighter Two or that kind of game. It's very. Um, I don't know that they've they've kind of kept the motion from the arcade, but you've got this very like low animation kind of movement, not too many frames, but it makes it feel kind of clunky in a way. But at the same time, it feels like the way the movements work exactly the same as the arcade game. I think the main difference, yeah, I was, I was going to say the first few matches aren't that difficult, but it gets harder. But the main difference is there's a little bit of a lag when you pull the moves off. And it seems to be more so than the the arcade game. Ah. But it's almost like if you close your eyes a little bit and just pretend it's 3D, it, it plays exactly the same as the uh, Saturn game. Yeah, I play this game quite cheaply. I've, I've learned probably about four or five moves and it tends to work, but I think the thing that gets confusing is Fighters Mega Mix has a whole bunch of extra moves and I can never remember whether a move works on Virtual Fighter 2, Fighters Mega Mix or Virtual Fighter 3. Yeah, the jumping's the same as almost like the 32X game where your character kind of glides in the air very unrealistically. But it's fun. Ah, uh, she's starting to block. Can you do a back back forward forward kick? I think. Or was that just doing forward forward kick? I can't remember. The moves on Virtual Fighter are, are weird because it's all about timing and it's not based on what you see, it's all kind of the way it should be, kind of in its control scheme. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's it's not reactionary like Street Fighter, you've almost got to predict the move you're going to do and do this combination and it's almost like a rhythm game in a way, but not based on what you're seeing. So I think if you get flustered and start kind of scrambling around, you've lost. You've got to keep your timing. Ah, yes. Yeah, I've tried to turn the music down, or the sound in general, but you, you could probably still hear it. It's very similar to the arcade. It's got all the same tunes and the Mega Drive does quite a nice job of it. I do like the the ring. It doesn't rotate but I think the parallax is quite nice. Yes! And it's got the Sega Skies. <gasps> ah! Bastard. <laughs> Dodgy speech. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I really should be blocking at some point because it's all he's got to do is hit. Yeah. I was going to say hit me once, I'll do a special, but he's dangerously close to the edge of that. Ah, oh, I forgot to hit kick. There you go. Yeah, I'm a cheap player on Virtual Fighter. Right, I think I'll. I'll see if I can beat him on this and then I think I'll probably call it quits. But it's it's a game it's a game that I do enjoy. It it didn't cost that much. I think I first played it on a Oh, what would it have been? It was the Sega compilation on the PS3 and 360. And I didn't really didn't know what to expect. And I don't think you get a sense of the way that the game moves and plays from any of the screenshots. You have to really play it to get the feeling of it, and it, it's good. I'm, 
I'm not sure if I'd have preferred an SVP version of the game, like you know, virtual racing would. But um, I don't know. I think it's quite good. I think I'll leave it there. Right, so that was Virtual Fighter 2 on the Sega Mega Drive. Thanks for watching.